Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to beat Lily and Lileen in Pal World. So this is actually a very challenging boss fight. I had this sped up two times in speed just because it is such a challenging one. So I'm using Quivern as my partner here with Firestorm there, which is a really great spell that you can get. Now the reason I wanted to use that is it deals a lot of damage and it's fire damage, so it's going to be dealing extra effective against this grass type. So... The best strategy here is to use any type of fire pal, really. That's just going to be, obviously, a better way of dealing with it. But keeping your distance, using the dodge roll a lot, as some of these attacks are really, really damaging. It actually pays to dodge roll into the attacks as well, like with that water bubble attack. Dodge rolling to the side is good and all, but into the attack gives you more invincibility frames while it's coming towards you, which ends up making it a little bit easier. Now, I do think that the best way to go about doing this is to ride your pal. Now, really, any type of fire pal will help, like the Wyvern one. But I really like the Quivern here. So with this one, we just want to get up and above it as it's going to have a hard time hitting us with some of its attacks. Now, using the uh, fire br Spitfire attack is going to give it a lot of damage there as it spreads off kind of like a shotgun. Now, sometimes you will get knocked down out of the air, so it's best to to use this strategy sparingly you have to jump up come back down jump up come back down but firestorm and spitfire are the two best spells that i've found to use against this so make sure that your pal does have those as it's going to be shredding its health down a lot quicker but that firestorm attack is nice because it has two little tornadoes that come together and can do multiple attacks of damage so you want to be at a certain range roughly around here i think is the best range as it's not going to be able to hit you with its attacks and you can pepper away at it with your attack. So, again, you will come down after a short while, so just jump back up there. I'm using Dragon Cannon as my third attack there. It's just a quick one that you can spam in between the Spitfire and the Fire Tornadoes. So, it's really good to keep your your health full there, your, your stamina for your pals. Especially if you're flying around, that's going to drain it a lot quicker. So, yeah, Dragon Cannon, Spitfire, and Fire Spin, or Fire Tornado. The Those are the three attacks that work, I think, the best here. And just stay up high as a couple of the attacks, that seed bomb attack, mostly hits on the ground level, as well as the grass tornado attack there too. So I would recommend doing this strategy over and over again. It may take a couple attempts, but with some time, you can take down Lily and Lilene using this strategy. Now, most dragon types will have access to Spitfire as well as the fire tornado attack. So you might have to go find some trees that will give you those spells. But I can guarantee it's definitely worth it because this is a very challenging boss otherwise. So you definitely want to have those there with you. This took me about seven minutes. I had to speed it up to make sure that this could fit in the video. But yeah, this is basically the strategy. Fly up high and shoot away now the reason i said a dragon type is it has a water attack so if you bring a fire pal it's going to be dealing a lot of extra damage but that's how you can eliminate lily and lilene in power world thanks so much for watching